Today we're going to take a look at um, an app that I really, really like called Nearpod. Now, <clears throat> the, the biggest drawback to Nearpod is that to really utilize it, you need a, a, either a teacher or a school subscription. There is a free version that you can use to kind of get started and to see what it looks like, but um, this app is, is really so incredible for a classroom set or a one-to-one -one, uh, initiative for iPads or other kinds of devices. So on the screen here, you'll see that I have, um, I have the teacher um, section on the right, and I have one that I've not logged in yet on the left. And so if I, um, if I come in, and here I'm trying to do it on my computer screen, but if I tap to start this teacher uh, presentation, um, I'm going to click no, and this is optional. I'm just going to submit it <clears throat> uh, just to get the just to get the, the the thing started. You'll see on the teacher view there is uh, a presentation here that has been created, and underneath several uh, tiles of slides, and we're just going to swipe from one to the other. You'll also see up at the top in the upper toward the upper left hand corner a pin set uh, that is all capital letters and I'm just going to come over here to the student one and I'm going to type in FD FFL and we're going to log in and so you'll see that on the student version of Nearpod I have the presentation I'm blasting that out now in the, on the so the teacher version is on the right the student version is on the left You'll see in the upper right, upper left-hand corner of the teacher module, you will see that I have one student that has entered the classroom. So I'm going to on the on the right hand. This is going to get very very confusing for me to do this tutorial. But on the right hand side, where I have the teacher version, I'm going to swipe to the next set, and it's going to ask the students to sign in. And so over here on the teacher module, on the student module. Oh man, it's gonna get rough. I'm gonna sign in as Tim C. Now my student ID is optional. I'm not gonna bother with that. And you'll see that it is thanking me for logging in. And now on the teacher side, I have the name of the student who's entered the room. So if I have a classroom set of 20 or 30 iPads and I have all the kids log in, I'm going to get a student roster. On the teacher side, I'm going to swipe again to the next slide. And you'll see on the left-hand side, it is, it's going through the tutorial with the students on the iPad. And when I click to the next one, there's going to be a video that will play. And I'm not sure that you'll actually hear it. Um, I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but you'll see how this is working. Now, this tutorial is set up for elementary school, but it will work just as well in middle school and high school. And you'll see how easily that video is is being sent over to the student version of the iPad. I'm going to go ahead and swipe to the next screen and you'll notice that here's how we here's how we use the dashboard. There will be tools up in the upper left hand corner. The pin number will always be there and then there are thumbnails below that I could click on one and automatically jump to whichever one I wanted to show. Um, if I tap this little share button next to the pin I can also send out an email in case I have students who are not at school who need to also join the class while I'm here. And I can do that uh, fairly easily. I'm going to swipe again. And so you'll see how this is working. Now here are the nice aspects of what Nearpod will do. You say, okay, that's great. I can show my presentation. What else? It will almost do it all. That, that's no lie. Almost do it all. So I'm going to swipe again. Um, and so we will show you that we can show uh, different kinds of um, media projects to the students. And so here's one on Earth Formation. The students would watch this video. So I'm going to click it over here. The students would watch this video, and it's not very long. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. It's going to give them some basic information about how things happen how we think they might have happened, um, to create the earth. Okay, 
Now, they just watched it. So now I can also, uh, in this instance, I, this is not related to the video, we'll come back to that. But if I'm an elementary teacher and I want my students to practice letters, it's this simple on the student iPad. I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to draw around the letters. I could be doing this in art class. I could be doing this in a number of different kinds of classes, writing on top of different things. I'm going to click Submit, and boom, there's my assessment on the teacher version of Nearpod. We'll swipe again. I can give them a test. So here is um, a quiz. You'll see on the right-hand side on the teacher version, I'm going to have updated knowledge and on the student side I'm going to take the quiz. So what makes a star shine? Um, I think that it is the fusion of hydrogen. I'm going to click next and you'll see that in real time it has updated my score to the fact that I have one out of three correct. What hit the early earth? Well I know that's Theia but I'm going to choose the moon just to show you that it will do um, incorrect answers as well. And so now I have answered a second question and I still have one out of three. And you'll see in the upper right hand corner of the teacher version, I have a dashboard in real time in color showing me how students are mastering this information. Um, and so I know this last question is down here. And so when I hit that and I click next to submit all of my answers, the student gets a thank you the teacher gets, um, again, updated information in real time. You'll see that I got two out of three right. The pie chart in the top tells me I got two out of three right. And, I, and if I'm not mistaken, the pie chart on the right will show me the results of the entire class. If I had 30 kids in there, it would tell me kind of how everybody did. If I go to the next, I'm going to swipe to the next deal. And now I can also ask for opinions. And so in here, I can ask them to type their thoughts. This is where we would type. And when I submit that to the teacher, again, I get immediate response. Here is the constructed response that they, that they gave to me. And as we're doing Common Core, constructed response is going to be important. If I move on over to the next one, this is the end and it will tell me what else I can do. So I think that you can see that there is a number of things Nearpod can do in a classroom that could really help you manage having iPads in the classroom every day. So uh, I hope that you will give Nearpod a try. At our school, uh, we've set up a webinar with Nearpod where they can demonstrate to us um, the kinds of things that Nearpod can do with a premium account. And uh, we'll see if we go from there. And if we do, I will let you know.